Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another speed build and this is going to be a hut style resort themed build on a residential lot. You really can't vacation here because there's not like a hotel type style of thing on The Sims. So I created my own hotel, hotel style resort themed lot. So there's four separate houses on this lot to stay in. Two of them are going to be family style and two of them will be for couples or singles. However you want to work it, up to you. So I added this really neat foundation. However, later in the build, you'll find out why it won't work out so well. <laughs> I'll get to that. But for now, we're going to use it and see how it goes. So I'm right now trying to add some staircases and see where that's going to go for me. I love the island living theme stuff. It all is amazing. So we're going to go with that and see how that works out. Now I'm going to add some ladders so we can get in and out of the water. Because you don't be fun to jump off the back of your deck from your vacation spot, right? That's where I was going with that. So that's what we did. And now I'm adding a second story. So this is going to be a two level hut style. And now we're adding the doors on each of the styles. The island themes, uh, wallpapers, and all this stuff is great. So I used the wooden one. I think it's the, what is it? I don't know what to call it. Not wallpaper, but whatever it's called. We use that. Now the flooring. I did change it up a little bit, but I still think it looks good. So we're going with that. How to find the, the right type of inside paint we want to use for our lovely homes. And I kept it basically the same for every single one. So all four of these houses will be very similar. They'll be slightly different in some ways, but most likely the same type of stuff will be in the homes. So you'll see very similarities and all of that. I now have to delete the stairs because I wanted to go with a different color that matched the lovely foundation that I changed up. So I added some, I, I did add some banisters so you can walk up the stairs and hold onto a railing, you know, gotta keep it friendly and gotta keep it safe, right? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with the kitchen on the first um, home that I'm working on. And I went basic with my kitchen stuff. I didn't want to go too fancy because when you're on a vacation, nine times out of ten, the kitchen stuff isn't fancy, it's just a basic fridge, a basic whatever, and that's really what I did here. I went basic basic to keep it really in theme because you're not really home too much if you're on vacation, right? You're more like exploring wherever you are, so I just went really basic with this. Didn't go crazy. I eventually had to move every everything around because I wanted to add like an overhead above the stove, so I just switched things up a little bit just to like all fit in place. That's what I'm doing right there. Finally got it all working out perfectly the way I want it love this. I did, however, add some flooring to the kitchen, which we'll see momentarily. I'm just currently adding some um, cupboard space. Well, not really cupboards. They're more like just like wall surfaces to put some stuff on, but I don't have too much to add in those boxes or whatever you want to call it. So there's that. I'm adding a little microwave, and that's really it. Stove, a microwave, and a fridge, and a sink. That's all you need, right? So now we're adding some flooring. It took me forever to figure out what kind of flooring I wanted to use for the kitchen. It's just like, what do you do? Like, there's not really many, there's not really a good source of linoleum. And there really isn't any good tile for the kitchen. At least in my opinion, anyway. And they don't really have marble for the floor. Like, I guess they consider stone as marble. But for me, stone is like outdoorsy. So I went with terracotta, as you'll see there. So I have terracotta flooring for my kitchen. And that's going to be standard for all my kitchens. They're all going to be the same. Just because I didn't want to go too crazy and have to do every single house differently. Wanted to keep them all very similar in theme. So there's my kitchen and my dining room, all set to go. Perfect, lovely lighting. And again, I used almost all the island living themed stuff here. I was gonna put a bathroom over there, but guess what? I forgot to add the stairs for her upstairs. So there you go. I had to fix that. So the bathroom's going over there, over there. I don't know why I added that other place, but that wasn't gonna work out, so we deleted that. And on the back wall, I eventually am going to add a lovely bookcase. I was trying to figure out where to put the bookcase, but I was like, oh, whatever, we're going to work on the bathroom first. So the bathroom is very simple. I just added a basic tub, a toilet, and a sink. That's all you really need. I mean, nothing too crazy because, I don't know, I just didn't really want to go too nuts in the bathroom, so just keep it really simple and plain Jane. And eventually I realized, oh, the bathroom can be smaller. So we did that, made it a little smaller kept everything in there basic, and that's when I decided, hey, let's add a lovely bookcase on the back wall. 
So after I finished that, that's what I did. That's lights. We're good to go. Yeah. All right. What am I doing? I was trying to, oh yeah, I was trying to add a plant or something in there for decoration. We couldn't do that. We exhausted all those options. So now we're working on the living space. Simple couch. I wanted to add a small TV because I figured you're not going to watch much TV on vacation, right? Well, it didn't really look good to me. The small TVs on the big tables just don't work for me. I couldn't really find anything worth using for a small table, in my opinion. So I just was like, ah, whatever, we're going to go with the big TV. And that chair ain't going to be there long enough. I'm deleting it eventually because it just didn't really work. It wouldn't, wasn't going to fit in our space. It was too much. Loving the rugs they offer you in Island Living. It's amazing. So we did that. And that's that. And of course, there's the bookcase that I've been talking about for the last couple of minutes here. I don't know which one to use, but eventually I chose just the one that hangs on the wall because it looks really good. Love it. It's perfect. There we go. And now a lovely welcome rug, and that's that. Now we're going to work on the lovely upstairs at some point after we put in the windows. I again just use the simple I'm living windows because that's really what worked. I love a window over the stove and over the sink. Just lovely to look out your window in the morning while you're cooking breakfast, right? All right, upstairs is going to be working. We are now making a loft style, and you'll see why now I have to change out the foundation because you cannot make a loft style with the type of foundation I chose, which is like those uh, columns. So I was like, oh, I'll just make it into a family style. I tried doing it over there. It wasn't going to work. So I was like, what do I do? So I changed out the foundation eventually to see if that would fix the issue, and it eventually worked. So that was fun. I was like, yeah, we figured this out. So half of, the, um, of this lot is going to be a loft style, and the other half will be family style because I wasn't gonna, I wanted to really use the cool island living column type foundation. So that's why I was like, nope, we're not changing at all. We're just doing halvesies. So the first two on the left are gonna be, like you see here, loft style. And then the other two on the other side will be family style. So that's gonna be kind of fun. There we go, looking out. Ooh, hmm, let's see. What kind of a good banister should we have? I like that. This is kind of nice, right? Yeah, we'll go, no, I don't know. All right, there we go. We used the sponge from the seasons back. And now we can add our staircase. Sweet. Now we're adding the bed. Love it. A basic island themed bed. And I love these lights. They're so perfect. They're so pretty. Let's add some of that. Oh, you got to have a fan. You cannot forget the fan. And you have to have a mirror, you guys. I know there's a mirror in the bathroom, but you have a mirror in your room. It just makes sense. And now I'm trying to add some decorations. As you can see, I added a plant over there for the heck of it, because, you know, plants are fun. Just, you know, they add a lot of decoration. I had a little ottoman right there, because, you know, an ottoman's kind of cool, right? I like that. I think it's nice. Adding some paintings. They don't really have a lot of island paintings, but there's a few that are around in the packs, other packs you can use. So now we're adding some of our lovely windows to complete this. Let's see. Ooh, I don't know. I like that. I like that. That's kind of nice. There we go. Oh, yes. That's really well decorated. I think I added a plant in the corner eventually. I was going to add that lovely, like, boss, but it just wasn't going to really work out. It was too big, right? So, in the end, we just surfed around, and boom! I eventually was like, you know what? Forget it. We're going to add a plant. So, <laughs> here we go. We're searching for a plant or something to fit in there. And there we go. That's our plant. Look at that. That's the first one built. Now we have to work on the next one. Oh, joy, 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 joy. Here we go. I'm now making the second loft over here. Uh, yeah. I don't know why. I think I started on the top on this one. Did I not? No, I didn't. I was trying to figure out what was going wrong. And I realized I forgot to change that foundation. That's why it wasn't working. So we fixed it. Now we can make the loft. Perfect. Yay. Did I start in the top? No, I didn't. Oh, I copied the banister. That's right. Yeah, yeah, we did that. So now we're going to work on uh, adding our staircase. Added the staircase on the op opposite side this time. So this one's a little bit switched up. You'll notice how the kitchen's a little bit different. Same type of style, just it's a different place. I don't know if... Did I add... Oh, no. I don't think I added... Did I add the flooring? I did. Okay. I added the terracotta flooring on this one, too. And this kitchen seems a little bit smaller than the other one, but it really isn't. It's much the same. 
I don't think I add, oh, I don't think I added a microwave on this one. I don't know if I added a microwave. Oh, no, I did. Okay, I was going to say, did I not add a microwave? I couldn't remember. I think I tried to add a microwave to all of them. I really couldn't fit the shelving on this one for some reason. I eventually figured it out, but it was like, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> the overhang, the overhead, though, kind of seems through the, the shelving. That's okay, whatever, it's fine. It works. Little plant, little planter in the middle of the table, got a little pretty. Adding our windows, because you know, you need windows in here. Yeah, we gotta add our bathroom. This one's gonna be a very tiny bathroom. I mean, they don't need to be that big anyway, so I figure the other one's little tiny, we're gonna make this one tiny too. And the same, the same flooring and the same tile style. A little bit of a tub and a sink and a toilet, and that's it. And a little window. And we were good to go. Did I add lights in this one? Oh, I don't know if I add lights in this one. Oh, I did. Okay. I added a little mirror, too. Oh, perfect. Look at that, guys. It's amazing. Window. Now we can start adding and working on our living space. The living space is over here as you enter onto the left side. This one, I was able to add a chair and a couch because it just looked like it was going to work in this way. It's perfect. Same TV, same, same coffee table we used to put it on. Uh, but however, a different couch. So that's cool. And I use a different rug, obviously, because you don't want to have the same rug in every house. It just would look kind of weird. So figured out how to fix that. And guess what? We didn't add a rug because <laughs> this wasn't going to work. So we added a different bookcase, too, by the way. You'll notice how it's a whole, it's a bigger bookcase. But why not? And there's no computers in this one because I didn't really feel like you need a computer on your vacation. You have a cell phone. You should be out exploring stuff. Why are you on your phone, right? I wanted to add a painting there, but really didn't know what to do, so I just added a little tiny one there. That's about it. I love this lighting. One little simple light, and that was that. There we go. Lights and lanterns on the outside as you enter. Perfect. Entrance rug. Now we're working on the outside little, like, get-together area, or whatever you want to call it. I think it's a common area. Like, you can just sit there and sunbathe, or sit under the sun or something. I didn't want to... I wanted to add, like, the gazebo thing. I forget what it's called, but it's like an overhead, like, gazebo, I don't know what they call it, but it's something, and it just kind of, like, makes it so you don't get too much sun, get sunburned, so, I put that there, it looks really pretty, it's pretty sweet, right, right, I wanted to have those facing, like, diagonally, but it wasn't going to work out, so, we didn't do that, I don't know what I was doing there, but that was really weird, <laughs> little half wall to separate the kitchen from the living space, you know, gotta do that. I have a little entry table there, you know, put something on there. Maybe put a cobble party on there, I don't know, cobble bowl or something. I had to work on the upstairs bedroom. Uh, I used a different bed, obviously, for this one, and a little bit of different style tables. Same lanterns, though, lights for the bed, whatever. They're a different, uh, different bureau, or whatever they call the, well, it's not that bureau, it's a dresser. Anyway, yeah, I use a different dresser, same same kind of style mirror over there in the corner. Putting in our little stuff, some different plants. I use plants again, but different plants in this one. And a lot of lighting up there, some different paintings. You know, I gotta keep it festive looking. You know, warm and inviting. That's those two all set. I'm now adding just some little furniture in the water, because you know when you go swimming you want to have something to play with. You know, right? Yeah. Anyway, there we go. So now I'm going over here to the other lots, and I'm going to play with these. These will be family style. I did, however, cheat, and I did use a pre-made room for this one, because I just wasn't really wanting to build, like, an extra, like, two other, three or four other rooms, so I was like, what do we do? I was like, oh, I'll just make a pre-made room. So it's perfect. There's two pre-made rooms I've used in this one, and it worked out. I was like, ah, oh, it works out. Why not? So you got two beds in the first room for two kids, or maybe two teens, or whatever, two guests, and then you got a parent's room for a queen-size bed over there, you know, something full fancy-ish. It's just very basic. I didn't do go crazy in that room. I mean, why would you, right? You're on vacation, you don't care. As long as you got a bed and a bathroom and a kitchen, you're fine. So we just did that. Oh, some paintings to keep it looking nice and inviting. You know how it is, right? There's that. And, of course, the windows. Gotta add those. Can't forget about the windows. And a little mirror over there, too. Oh, and the fan. Gotta have a fan, because you never know how hot and warm it's gonna be. So there's, like, the little light on the hallway, and a painting in the hallway, because when you walk upstairs, you want to see something nice, right? It's gonna be a boring hallway, right? 
So there we go, did that. It's a little plant, something to keep it looking interesting. Now up to the basement, well, not the basement, well the downstairs rather. So we're starting with the living space sort of, and we're gonna just add a little bit of, you know, zazz. Different couch, different table, stuff like that. There we go. That looks really neat, sort of. All right, well, that canned that idea. I don't know where I was going with that, but we just went back to a basic, the basic couch and the chair style. I love that rug. It's so nice. Perfect. I'm gonna add the bathroom somewhere. I'm gonna add it over there. Yep. There we go. And you know what we're doing with the bathroom. Just the simplest thing we can think of. Like I said, they're much they're basically all the same. Nothing really is gonna change, so. Let them look nice, all jazzed up in there. Got your towels and whatnot. And now we're going on to the kitchen. Of course, the same counter space and the same everything. I mean, why not, right? There we go. Yay ha! Gotta add your sink, gotta add that. Oh, we have to add a fire alarm because you just don't know when your sim might catch a fire. <laughs> or start a fire, rather. And there we go. I didn't, didn't add overhead. I think I deleted the overhead in this one. Because it wasn't going to fit for some reason, so I didn't have an overhead in this one. Now for adding our windows. Yay! Look at that. Oh, it looks great. Alright, we're moving, we're going, we're moving, and we're grooving. Here's our dining table. I think I went with a different style dining table, actually. It looks like it's a little bit different color. But that's okay, it looks really good anyway, regardless. Let's see, what are we adding there? We're going to add a little decoration above the, above the table. Because I just thought needed something a little bit, you know. A little something, something. There we go. New, some of those. New windows. Oh, yeah. I went back and added trash cans to all my houses because I forgot to add trash cans. That's the one thing I almost forget to do is add a trash can to every house. I don't know why. I just do. So now on the last build, I again cheated. I added another pre-made, um room because I just really didn't know how to construct the upstairs. I was like, what am I going to do with this room? So I figured, I'll go with whoever built this and see how they did it. And I liked it. So I went with that style. However, the room was so big, I couldn't really add two beds in the guest room. So this one, however, only has one bed. I tried to fit two in there, but I just couldn't make it work. I couldn't figure out how to make it work. And then and a dresser on top of it. It was like, nope, can't do it, won't do it. I mean, maybe I could have made it work, but I just the effort I was putting into it just wasn't, it wasn't really working out. I could have maybe put two beds in there, but then there wouldn't have been room for a dresser, and it just would have been too weird. So I was like, you know what, no, forget it. So it's now a one-bedroom, <laughs> single family, technically. So you got a boy, boy or a girl, there you go. So the guest room is very, really plain and simple, nothing too crazy, a few windows, and there's that. And of course I added, of course, we have to add our lovely curtains, because you don't want to have too much light in your bedroom, right? Am I right, guys? And then a few paintings and a few lightings and things to make it look pretty, and there's that. And again, for the kitchen, I went pre-made. The last kitchen, however, it looks similar to what I'd already done. So I was like, you know what, we'll use it. It's fine. It looks similar. It works. So we did it that way. And it also included a little bit of living space. So it was like, oh, perfect. This one didn't have a TV, I don't think, because I felt like I didn't need one. However, if you guys think it needs a TV, you could add one yourself. So there we go with our basic bathroom over in the corner there, because that's just where we're going to put it. And I think that's really it, guys. That's the build. Um, I added a few little details at the end here, but essentially that's really it. I didn't go too much too much more crazy on it, because I really didn't think it needed too much more. I don't know what I was doing there, but I screwed up the outside somehow, so I had to fix that a bit. And I was doing the same thing that we were doing on the opposite side, add a little gazebo thing with our two little chairs. Hey, why not? And then I added, I think I added some outdoor lighting. Yeah, we added some tiki torches. Because you need lights outside. In case you're going to sit outside at night. You never know, right? And then I added some more little windows on that side. 
That's very cute. Oh, yeah. And then we added an outdoor shower on each side because I felt like it needed one. I really did. So that's what we were doing, adding an outdoor shower, as you just saw. So there you go. So on the little side of the house, there's an outdoor shower on each side. So each little section gets one. And that's it. Two outdoor showers and four tubs. There you go. Added a little, a couple other chairs on the side outside in case you want to sunbathe and not be underneath covered seating. But aside from that, guys, that's the build. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you guys love this build and want to download it, it is available in the gallery. Um, search for my name, BSB Lever eighty nine, and you will find it. Um, I'm currently all I'm doing is adding the roofing, and that's it, and we're done. The island living roofing is amazing, by the way. I love it. So I know you guys will too. So if you want to download this again, BSB Lover 89 in the gallery. It's there to download. Um, you love it. I love it. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you later with a new live and or a new build or a challenge. You never know what I'll come up with next. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye.